Southwest Florida, our show, Zoe Plo Life, is about life in Southwest Florida. But we're all enjoying this paradise in our own unique way. And right here in a residential neighborhood is a couple living a Zoe Plo life you can be sure is like nobody else's. Welcome to Zoe Plo This is Megan Bradley, and this is her daughter, Emma Bradley. Both have been volunteers at the Shy Wolf Sanctuary. They volunteer here because they so believe in the mission, the people, the cause, everything. It moves them. The oasis that they created is stunning. It's soul touching. The Shy Wolf isn't a zoo. It's not a business. It's a last hope for animals. Mostly domestic wolves who have nowhere else to go because of humans who thought they could handle a wild animal as a pet, but they couldn't. People are taking a wild animal and trying to turn them into a house pet, and then they can't, and then the animal, what? is going to be euthanized. You can't take it to the Humane Society or bring it into animal control because they immediately have to euthanize the animal by law. It's kind of their last hope, the shy wolf. But take a look at this particular Zoe Flo life. This couple can't and Nancy. They're remarkable. They're totally selfless people. To know them is the only way to really understand the level of commitment they have. They've given their life, their home, their time, their freedom, everything to this mission. They rarely even both leave the house at the same time. At least one of them has to be here. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Such humility and passion to give up every worldly possession so that you can make sure that these animals can live to the, the end of their life. It's called Shy Wolf because the wolves are very shy. And Sanctuary because that's exactly what Nancy and Kent want it to be. A peaceful forever place to any and all animals who need a loving home. Nancy's always believed animals have feelings just like we do. And she's made a promise to every one of these animals, whatever it takes. Mohan, who's 14, gonna be 15, and they just spent $4,000 to fix his leg. $4,000, that's a lot of money for a nonprofit considering the life expectancy of a wolf in the wild is just six to eight years. This 14 year old guy is not only being fixed up, he'll receive all the love and care from volunteers and visitors that he needs to get better. Let's put a bathtub in, give them a fuzzy blanket and a shade canopy to make this wolf comfortable. Literally, they have given everything to save these animals. We showed up and Nancy forgot we were even coming. That's how little she is in, interested in having any recognition at all. It takes a certain human being yeah. to really give your whole life to a cause. Most of these animals come from neglect or abuse, so they're scared. The volunteers come in with their compassion and love for these animals, and the animals slowly learn to love and trust again. They learn to trust and love again because they do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Next time you're here, stop. Look around. Really look in all the nooks and all the crannies. You'll see the care and love for these animals absolutely everywhere. They are completely selfless people. Ha, ha, ha.